uh, I brought my brain model here and I'm back uh, again to explain part two of how the pain track actually works. As I told you before, it's called neuro, which is the brain, cognitive, how we think and enhancement, how the brain can improve. Uh, this is a model of the brain. This is the front of the brain, the back of the brain, right side of the brain, left side of the brain. The brain is uh, broken down into halves. Each half is called the hemisphere. This is the right hemisphere. This is the left hemisphere. Each hemisphere um, is divided into lobes. So this is the frontal lobe. This is the temporal lobe, parietal lobe, and the occipital lobe. Very briefly, the occipital lobe is almost completely uh, involved in vision. Temporal lobe is involved in memory, some planning, and most importantly, the insula cortex. The anterior part of the insular cortex is where people feel what's going on inside. So interoception, which means what I feel inside and how it feels. And the interpretation of that and putting an emotional label on that. All of craving has recently been shown to be here. And all of the bad feelings that people feel as a, and also the good feelings. So, if I feel anxious, if I feel depressed, if I just don't feel good about things, the focus of how that feels inside of my body will be right here. So it's a very important area that we treat during this process. The frontal lobe is uh, the area of the brain that is in charge of making all uh, decisions as to what people will do. That There was a gentleman named Carl in 1964 who called this part of the brain executive function. So if it was a computer, this, this would be that part of the computer that makes the ultimate decisions. The, the prefrontal cortex is basically in here. And there's uh, two areas that are very important. Dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, medial lateral prefrontal cortex, and inferior medial prefrontal cortex. The lateral prefrontal cortex is, is in pretty much in charge of the whole brain. It's the part of the brain that keeps you on plan, keeps you on track, and makes the decisions that will be the best decision to optimize the plans you, you, you want to do and the goals you want to achieve. The medial prefrontal cortex is constantly monitoring the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex to find out if things are off. If so, there'll be feedback and have the plan change. And then the medial prefrontal cortex is a part of the prefrontal cortex that filters all the emotional components out. For people with chemical dependency and chronic pain, these areas of the brain do not work as they should. The planning is completely off. The attention is completely off. It's on, it's on pain and all the emotional components that pain has caused, exacerbated by the substance use. So that the emotional component that is coming from areas inside of the brain goes unchecked. And the brain and life and the mind turn into chaos. So this program basically targets these three areas and the area of the insular cortex, and one area right inside here called the anterior cingulate gyrus that is constantly bringing up plans that should be the most important thing that will keep you on goal. Now, one of the most important parts of this is what we attend to. And if you, you think of, of people who are in pain or people who have substance use disorder, their attention is almost always on pain, the emotions that are attached to pain, and how they're going to escape pain, even though they, the plan that they're using uh, doesn't work as it should. So when we can do targeted treatments to restore these areas, their attention can go away from pain. It can go away from hope, towards hope, and go away from all the doom and the bad feelings. And simply put, if one's attention goes away from chronic pain, goes away from the substance use and all of the bad things that it has brought, 
life will dramatically improve. And if you have skills that you learn that you can implement every day and coping skills that you can use to keep you on track, um, people can do very well.